Hi, Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Pisces. In looking at the magician, the magician is this uh, card of really the force of your will, of your uh, inspired imagination, of what lies beneath the surface of you in your desire to, to create uh, the life that you want. So when we see the magician, we see it almost looks like he's, um, you know, he's going to get struck by lightning here. It's this lightning bolt of creativity, of creating and manifesting what you want to build within your life. So with the magician, the universe has provided you with everything that you need, the skills, the mastery, the elements, you know, anything, uh, any tool that you might need in order to reach your goals. And so with the magician is that there's also this sense of putting your plan into action, taking the steps necessary. And again, it's through fo focused energy, it's through uh, directed energy into having faith in your own ability and having faith in the future that you can create. So the magician is a card of manifestation and of uh, bringing your imagination and tying it together with your skills and your hopes and your dreams. And sometimes, you know, that can be a challenging task to, uh, to, to, to put ahead of you. And uh, there's a lot that goes on into building and creating a certain way of living the way that you want to live. And there are obstacles along the way. And so when we see the strength card, there's this sense of, uh, being able to handle adversity, being able to show resolve and uh, to endure the times that are um, not so easy. So the strength card is this beautiful image of the woman here uh, gently handling the lion and the lion looking up at her. And it's influence through compassion and through kindness and through sensitive nature and really through love versus trying to be forceful or to be demanding uh, that you can uh, demonstrate strength in situations that are not easy or that are challenging to you or that are adverse that you can you can handle them but that you can handle them with a sense of, of um, uh, your, own, your own way of controlling it. So the strength card is a sense of, yes, you know, you have the inner strength, you can, you can handle anything. You may not think you can, but you definitely can. And this may call for you to handle these rough situations or anything along your path, perhaps of manif manifesting, uh, to react calmly and maybe composed versus losing your temper or trying to force things, letting your emotions get the better of you. There is a sense here of of really maintaining composure and there's a sense of belief that you have what it takes to navigate the obstacles and, and whatever difficulties that you're going to face. And these difficulties can be related to what you're hoping to create with your life, your goals, your hopes, your dreams. And this strength is important to consider, particularly when we look at the nine of swords, because the nine of swords is this, card of worry, of the things that keep you up at night, the stress, the knot in your stomach, the gazillion thoughts running through your mind where you can't possibly sleep 
And we all know what that feels like. It's just impossible because you're just, your mind is racing. And, you know, this can be connected to guilt. It can be connected to just worry, uh, pain, or some sense of loss or disappointment that is really getting in your way. And so, yes, we have these type of times and these, and these days when we lose sleep over a situation, when we feel hopeless perhaps, or when we feel just sick to our stomachs with worry. How am I ever going to get out of this mess? How, how's everything going to work out? I just can't see it. And these are the moments when you really have to dig deep and when you have to uh, really have faith in your own strength, in your own heart, and your own courage to be able to ride out these rough times day by day, minute by minute. And again, the magician creating the magic within your, your life, mixing all of the elements together to create the, the, uh, you know, the picture that you want to look at the, the, your movie picture, your movie life. And so uh, it's not easy and it takes willpower and it takes focused energy and it takes physical energy as well to make things happen. And this can certainly happen along the way. Stress and worry catches up to many of us and how we deal with it kind of sets the tone for how we move forward. Don't let it derail you acknowledge it do what you can to try to climb up these rungs you know to get out of this this worry guilt anxiety ridden state so let's take a look at the numbers we have one and, and uh, eight is nine and another nine so that's 18 and then that's another nine so nine is about nearing completion it's about spirituality it's about idealism and gaining wisdom. So to close the reading, I'd like to choose an Oracle card and we'll get a little more information. First light beginning a new cycle. How interesting beginning a new cycle. So whether you are trying to manifest a new beginning for yourself, a new start, a fresh start, a lateral move, a side hustle, whatever it may be, beginning a new cycle requires strength. It requires the faith in yourself that you can uh, be amazed and be delighted with the first light and that you're going to go on your merry way to make things happen. Moments like these happen and we have to deal with it and we have to get back to a place of gratitude. We have to get back to a place of uh, sunny side up and acknowledging pain and defeat or whatever it may be that hits us. But, you know, we always have to believe that, you know, the next day brings new light. The sun is always going to shine. And so what you do with that day is up to you. So I hope that you found something helpful here today. If you did, please subscribe, like, share, and comment. And come back again tomorrow for another Daily Tarot reading. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.